Waiting, waiting, not waiting anymore. What's up, fish tank people? Dustin's fish tanks, bringing it to you with attempting to do a Google Hangout with my man Danny over in the Netherlands. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. Uh, today is a fun video for me because oh, the, the, right as I shoot to start the thing, the tank goes off. Today's a fun video for me, folks. I'm going to turn the 220 back on in a second, but I got to get your attention first. Um, I am here with Danny's Aquariums. Look, I decided to do a collaboration with my man right here, this beautiful gent over here. Um, cool. Yeah, is is a, a 15 year old man. He is all over every YouTube channel, commenting, uh, supporting, and in general, just uh, being awesome, man. He's and he's and he's 15, and uh, 21 years ago, I was 15, and I just love seeing uh. Kids kind of getting, I mean, I'm going to call you a kid, man, 15, you're, you're getting up there, now. you're a teenager, so uh, welcome to the show, brother, say hello to everybody, man, let's cheese it up. Hello, everyone, how are we all doing? Oh, man. Danny from... Who are you, where are you from, brother? I'm from the Netherlands, all the way from the Netherlands, it's in Europe, so I'm not close to Dustin. No. He's not close, but he's uh he's he's all over everything on YouTube. He's on Instagram, and he is just a full like fish tank man. So uh, I'm excited to have you on here, man. Uh, super pumped! I know you've been following uh, my videos. You are 15. You're from the Netherlands, and the Netherlands is Holland. For those of you who don't know, uh, this is one of the same. And I had to clarify that before we got on here just to make sure I had my stuff right. And uh, this kid is super sharp because he has uh, he knows us lazy Americans can't figure out the leaders and everything. So he actually knows uh, both uh, Celsius, Fahrenheit, and actually gallons. So I want to get into gallons and I want to talk about um, some of your tanks here in just a second. But I want to uh, I want to just kind of I love I love this kid because. His, uh, and I'm calling you kid. I'm sorry, this young man, because he uh, he has uh, already scored a job at a pet store. Uh, those of you who don't know, I had a job at the Pet Supplies Plus in Flag City, Ohio, uh, Findlay, Ohio, right when I turned 16, and he's already working at a shop, man. So uh, I want to talk about your tanks, man, but I want to talk about uh, where you work, man. Uh, the the camera is on you, kind of. Represent your shop, man. Where you work? What are you doing? Well, I work at a really uh, local pet pet store. It's only three minutes away from my house. Started working there in December, and they asked me if I wanted to work there because, yeah, I'm almost every day at the local fish store. So, of course, I said yes because I'm into fish keeping, and yeah, now I work there. I do salt water, fresh water, and yeah, it's really awesome. That's great. So, what is what is the name of the shop, Danny? It's uh, called uh, Frank's Dieren Shop XL. That's awesome. Which is Frank's uh, Pet Shop XL, translated. That's fantastic, dude. I um I love the accent as well. And I want to talk about your aquariums, but um, what are some of the the things that you that you see in your shop? What are some of the like big uh things in Europe because the hobby is very different in Europe uh, than from the United States. So what are some of your favorite things? What are some of the things that come into the shop that you see all the time? Uh, just kind of talk about the shop that you work and then say that beautiful name of your shop again. Well, uh, at Frank's Deer Shop XL, uh, we have many different species of fish and uh, many corals and other expensive plecos, discus, yeah, just many different species and yeah i really like that and i also like the monster fish because we have some huge puffers mabu puffers fahaka puffers and some uh catfish really big catfish and some arowanas so they are really awesome also to feed so yeah that's what i really like that's awesome danny danny can you scoot just a little bit closer to the mic for us that's right. from my that's better my technical guy so do they allow you to feed the monster fish? Yes. I have to feed them um, yeah, frozen fish, like really big fish. And they eat it like crazy. They go nuts for it. 
how big would you say the monster aquarium that you have at the shop is? Um, you can say liters. Or... I think it's 200 gallons for a Arana tank. A wow. Puffer tank. Really big. That's awesome, we man. Also have, we also have a huge uh, salt water display tank, and that is really awesome. We have a huge uh, star in, here, in there. It's I don't know how big it is, but it's really big. And a um, huge marine. I don't know how you call him, a, a big eel. Yeah. It's really awesome. So when I was in college, I worked at a shop. Um, and we had a giant uh, Morway eel. And it was a, gal a galaxia or something like that, some species. And I brought it. Uh, it was like this long. And uh, I brought it to my friends. Uh, he had a reef. He had a puffer fish. And he had a, uh, a cloud trigger. And he, I brought it and I set it in his tank. We let it go. And it immediately went and tried to attack the puffer fish. And the puffer fish uh, puffed out and like saved himself. And we were like, oh no, puppy, puppy. So um, I have to ask this, man. Are you, uh, do you have a reef today? Do you have a saltwater tank? No, I don't have any saltwater tanks yet, but yeah, they are really expensive. And that's the biggest problem. I want one, a small nano aquarium, but I'm planning to do it, but it's really expensive, so we'll see. Do you have, do you have any salt water tanks? I do not have any salt water tanks. And I'll tell you why. I do not. No. Are you thinking about anyone? No. <laughs> no, and I'll tell you why. Uh, and those of you who are watching this are wondering why Dusty doesn't have a saltwater tank. Here's why. I do not have a saltwater tank because uh, once upon a time I had a 75-gallon tank. You can click links around. There's probably still some videos up in the, the YouTube crust. And I had a, uh, a, a giant uh, purple tang named Rhonda, and I had a maroon, a gold-striped maroon clown named uh, he Rani. So it was Hirani and Rhonda, Rhonda, Rhonda and uh, Hirani. And uh, the salinity tester that I had, I was testing the salinity one day and the uh, testing of the salinity, and it kept saying my salinity was low, so I kept adding salt and adding salt and adding salt, and the salinity tester was bad, and so I killed all my fish. So I'm still burnt from that, so I will not set up a saltwater tank uh, and I have so much going on that like the, the water changes are just what kills me for a reef tank. I just can't do an easy water change. So uh, no no reef tanks for me at this time. So Great. let's talk about your aquariums, big man. So as you can see in the back here, I have one uh, tank. It's a Planet Community tank, 45 gallons. I run a canister filter on it, and I have some Corridoras in here, uh, Corridora Paliatas, uh, Panda Corridoras, Fibrosis, many different uh, species. And I also have some Swarthills, Antlers, and Guppies in here. And I recently added some shrimp to this thing, so I'm... that's really nice. awesome because I'm looking forward to that. And I uh, use uh, two lights for this tank, one uh, daylight and one color light. Yeah, I don't use any fertilizers. I did put some uh, root taps in here, but nothing else. I also have two other tanks, 10 gallon tanks. Uh, one has a buffer in it, and the other tank has some um, crystal red, crystal black shrimp in there, as well as some rabbit snails. And and on the floor, I have a five-gallon tank with a few peat buffers in it. On the and floor! Another... <laughs> and downstairs, I have another five-gallon tank with some shrimp and antlers. So that's my tanks. That's awesome, man. How do your parents... My, think... oh. my parents, they like it. My mom actually stole my five-gallon tank, and now it's downstairs in the living room. So... Wonderful. You were asking me a question. How many tanks do you have? We need to define a tank. 
uh, what does the tank mean? Does it mean it's full of water and I want to show it to people on YouTube, or does it mean it's full of, you know, growing plants in the greenhouse and it's ugly and I don't want to put it on a video? So, um, <laughs> uh, the, the tanks that I would be willing to show to people, I have one, two, three, four, six tanks, if you want to count the one at the, the no maintenance tank, high maintenance tank. Um, but then I have the, uh, in the greenhouse, I have 425 gallons, uh, 575 gallons, uh, and like 10 20s, and then some other 10s, and you know. Um, but those are all like experiment tanks. Like each tank has its own little, like, how much light can I get into this tank? And I use this substrate in this little teeny container, and then I try something different and I'll put like a, you know, I'll try to grow a Madagascar lace in this tank and a Madagascar lace in this tank and see which one of them grows better. So those are all just kind of in the, in the fluff, you know, they're not really like, like I would, I'm happy to show some of these tanks. Those tanks are just kind of like, this is what I'm, I'm playing with. They're not really meant to be visual, if you will. So enough. Um, I want to ask you this: uh, What are the the brands of the filter and the lights that you have? Uh, on this tank, I have lights from uh, the brand Jewel. I have a canister filter from, and I also have some lights on the other tanks that are from Superfish. And I, I'm not sure what the uh, brands from the sponge filters are, but yeah, mainly. Uh, Superface, Jewel, and Tetra. Okay. So, so, come to me here. Let me ask you this, brother. What is your favorite part of the aquarium hobby? Uh, well, probably just fish breed and um, yeah, just plants that that they are growing really good. That just make me happy. So, that's what I like about the fish keeping hobby. What have you bred, man? Uh, I've bred antlers, guppies, um, some shrimp in the past, some sh uh, sherry shrimp. I've bred uh, rabbit snails. Um, let's see, what did I bred? Uh, Brisnos plecos. And yeah, nothing else yet, but I want to breed my uh, Corridora soon. So looking forward to that. Do you have any ideas on how to breed Cory cats? Well, I have uh, uh, read some stories about uh, adding colder water to the tank so that it uh, represents the. Uh... So I'm going to try that. I talked with the old guy, I forget his name, at a uh, Aquatic Gardeners Association, a big state of gurus. And uh, he had uh, no wife and no kids, and I say that because he had a lot of tanks. And uh, he said that uh, to breed quarry cats, he would get them really, 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 really fat, and then he would slam them with like a five-degree water temperature, maybe more, and he would even use ice if he had to to get the water temperature down. And he said that the quarry spread like crazy with that. So I think that's you're on the right path. I haven't done it. I haven't bred them intentionally myself, but that would make sense. Right. I'm going to try that. Cool. Very cool. Um, what are your favorite plants, man? Well, I'm really bad at uh, plant names, but I really like this plant uh, right here. It's, uh, if I'm right, Ambulia. No idea if you know that plant. No. <laughs> but it, grow, it grows really fast. I bought it last week and it was like this high and it's already to the top. So, and I really like uh, the crinum I have in this corner as well as my java fern in the back. So, I like that. And you have some, uh, you have some really nice crypts there in the front. Those bronze crypts look really tough, man. They look real good. What are your favorite plants? Well, obviously I like the crenum. This is my crenum matans. 
and then this is my Venom Calum Estratum. Uh, I'm a real big fan of uh, Anubius. I love Anubius. Uh, I like Bulbitis. I, uh, I have a hard time not selling it. Um, and then recently I've really gotten into, uh, I've been on like a little bit of a, a ground cover kick. I've been really playing with a lot of uh, Dwarf Sag, Baby Tears, and uh, Econodorus Tonellis. I'm growing Econodorus Tonellis at a rapid rate out in the greenhouse right now. And I've been really experimenting with that. So um, I've been on like a foreground. How can I get the foreground uh, going, going the best? So my foreground plants have been really uh, foreground focus, if you will. So I've had uh, a lot of fun really really getting the, the foreground plants, uh, like playing with them and seeing how I can go with the shorter water level and higher fur troops, fertilizers, and more CO2, and just seeing kind of the instant growth on those has been a lot of fun for me. So, awesome. yeah, man. Do you have any questions for me, brother? Yeah. Um uh how did you start uh with this hobby how did i start thanks for that well you're stealing my thunder on a video i have coming out soon but uh i'll tell you. yeah so i was uh well so the the, the reason that I'm, I'm part of the reason that i'm doing this collaboration with you man is because i got hit at the same exact uh the same exact age as you man i mean i was like i was like you're you know I mean like I'm probably gonna get teared up talking about it, but I was uh, I was like 14 or 15, and I had a uh, this kid down the street. His name was David, and he had a 10 gallon aquarium with blue gravel, and I'll never forget it. It was in his bookshelf, and it had blue gravel and like it had like miscellaneous tetras, and it had a little it had a good light on it, it had a good fluorescent light on it, so everything you could see it really good. And fake plants and no fishing sign, the whole deal. And I was like, I gotta have that. And I, I was going nuts with it. And uh, I immediately went home and I had, uh, like you, I had the, I had a tank when I was little. Like I had a, my dad had a goldfish tank or whatever. And I was really into that, but then I kind of got away from it. And then I came back to it when I was like 15. And I had a, a five, and a, I think I had a 10 gallon aquarium that uh, was my start. And I had, in that tank, I had five goldfish with uh, black gravel. And I'm going to say it live on camera. And I had uh, pink gravel, too. I had little tiny uh, pink gravel. I thought it looked cool. I mixed the black and the pink. And uh, I mixed that together. And I had goldfish, five goldfish in like a five or ten gallon tank. And then those goldfish moved into a uh, – the goldfish moved into a full 29-gallon uh, tank. And uh, that was like my first big tank. And then it just spiraled out from there. I started working at the pet store the day, like the day after I turned 16, and uh, was there for a long time, and uh, <clears throat> just you know really got into it. I had a my mom bought me a 40 tall uh, for a birthday present when I was like 15, and then I had a, a, 20, a 29, a 40 tall. You know, I had a five, I had a 10 gallon on the floor, like you said. Um, I had a, a 15. There's still a. Uh, I had a I had a heater that I had in a 15 gallon. I was doing a water change, and I just I had the heater plugged in and everything. I just took the heater out and laid it on the floor, burned the carpet at my dad's house. There's a big big stain, like a big like burn mark to this day, and where the where I uh, messed up the the floor. So uh, it's the same thing, man. And I, I've had tanks. Uh, the only time I've never actually had aquariums is interesting, and this is uh, one of the biggest um, uh, just down things or whatever. Is I I lived in the uh, I lived in Germany for six months, and during that time period, I didn't have any aquariums because uh, no one could take care of them. And then I had, uh, sadly, I did not check out all the aquariums uh, all over Europe and all that because I was uh, too busy being a 19-year-old in Germany. So, but uh, yeah, man, it, it spiraled at the same age as you, so I'm, I'm pumped to see what you're doing. But um, I'm going to give this guy some credit here, though. Uh, you know, he didn't just uh, get to get on like here. Like, how? Like, I want to. I want to talk about your YouTube channel because you're really going after it, man. So, say the name of your YouTube channel. Talk about what you got going on because you're really putting in the work. So, the name of my YouTube channel is Denny's Aquariums. Um, I'm really close to 2,000 subscribers. So, if you haven't already subscribed, uh, my channel is all about um, yeah, my freshwater fish tanks. 
I am planning on doing some uh, local fish store videos because I work there. So maybe some unboxing videos or really excited about that. And yeah, I just uh, upload updates, videos, uh, maintenance videos, yeah, feeding videos. I sometimes do live streams. And that's what my channel is about. So. so check it out, folks. You should be excited. And you're doing good work, man. You haven't just done like two videos. You've got like 140, almost 150 videos, which people people don't realize the work that it takes to, to have a YouTube channel. So I got to give you some credit on that, man. Thanks. Yeah, man, for real. No, people don't realize. They think it just comes in the mail. You just get a YouTube channel and it just happens. But it takes takes the work. It takes the not fish tank time where you have to actually upload the video and edit the video and make the video. So I, uh, I commend you for the hard work that I've seen you put into your channel, man. And I advise anybody watching this to uh, take a look at what this kid's doing and then ask yourself, you know, if you want a YouTube channel, no matter what it's about, um, you know, you got to do the work. I say everybody's got to make 100 videos and he's got 100 and almost 150. So, you know, that doesn't go unnoticed, man. Thanks. For sure, man. For sure. So, uh, any anything that you're, is there anything that you you really want to do with your aquarium, or any fish that you haven't kept, or anything like that, that you're like dying to dying to get your hands on? I know you talked about monster fish, but is there like any like certain fish that you're like I can't wait to get these, or any like you, you work at a pet store now, so is there anything that you're like dying to get, or? Uh, well, I want a shell dweller thing because I really like that they breed in shells. That's really awesome, and that's a project for this year. So, I really want to get sh uh, shell dwellers and yeah, maybe some more puffer fish, but bigger puffer fish. You have a pea puffer. I, yeah, I also have. Uh, I already have some pea puffers right now, and one oculated puffer, the uh, Tetrodon cutcatia. But I want to get a like pahaka puffer, but I will also need a bigger tank, and I don't have any space. That's why. I'll, I already have one tank on the floor, so it happens, oh. man. And so you know, I have a tank on the floor too. I have a <laughs> right there. It's basically on the floor, so you're not alone with that big man. So, well, very cool, man. Well, I uh, I thank you for coming on here and uh, you know giving me some time. Super pumped for uh, you know all the support you always give, not only me but all the YouTube channels, man. I see you everywhere, so. Uh, you know, shout outs to you and, uh, yeah, thanks for coming on, man. Pumped. I'm, I'm pumped to see you, uh, you know, usher in the hobby. Uh, I want to see a video of your shop, man. I really do. I want to think that'll be really cool. I think the American, uh, the noisy Americans need to see, the what the, the, I, I wish I could say the name of your shop, Frank shop or whatever, but I think it would be a certainly a cool thing for us to see kind of what you have going on in that monster tank sounds cool. So. Uh, thanks so much for being here. Yeah, everybody, uh, thanks for checking out this video. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to my channel. Check out Danny's channel and subscribe to that. And you, young man, have a fabulous rest of your night. And everybody out there all over the world, tank on. Bye. Thanks for being on, bud. Later.